Here's my giant sequoia, native to California, but growing in Tennessee. And it's already putting on a lot of growth this year. Started right there, all the way up to there. So what is that, five inches or so? Just since the start of the growing season. Just pretty impressive. And I lost my other sequoia, it, it was here. But I chopped it down because it just lost all kinds of foliage. This one, a few of the needles at the bottom turned brown, but they fell off wherever they did for the most part. There's a few hanging around here. And I'll be surprised if it survives over the long term, but at least for the short term, it's alive and growing. It's pretty amazing. I have two other California species as well, so let me show you those. Here's my coast redwood. It's a Sequoia sempervirens, I believe is the Latin name. And it's starting to put more vertical growth here. And it survived the winter very well, which is good. That was a concern with this species. This came from forestfarm.com. Arrived in good condition, pretty small. And I guess it was a branch or something, because, uh, well, it looked like a branch based on the orientation of the foliage. Maybe they grafted it to rootstock to um, jump ahead in the growth, but I don't believe it's been grown from seed just because of the growth pattern. Maybe I'm wrong about that, but whatever the case may be, it's doing well now, but on a bunch of new growth this spring. So we'll see how long it takes to really put on some size, but so far so good for the coast redwood. I've read online that it can do well in Tennessee if it doesn't get too dry, and I'll make sure that it doesn't get too dry. And here's my last California species. This is the incense cedar. Calocedrus decurrens. And of course these can also get very large, just like the sequoia and the redwood. They would not get that large under cultivation, you know, it's just not the right growing conditions and soil type and soil depth in Tennessee to achieve what they can in California, but supposedly this can live pretty well in the southeastern United States. And I got it pretty small. I believe this also came from forestfarm.com. And it made it through the winter just fine, and it's starting to put on growth. So we'll see what happens with this, but those are my three species of California evergreen that I'm trying to grow in Middle Tennessee.